Hello, welcome to Dr. Baby and Dr. Roja's office. My name is Deanna and we're going to talk today a little bit about keeping your braces clean. Braces are just glued right onto the fronts of your teeth. I'm going to use a large model to show you how our braces are made. This is the brace that we use here in our office. It has a little wire that goes in there and a little door that closes that holds the wire into place. There's four little hooks, one, two, three, and four, and that's where the food and plaque gets stuck, and that's where you're going to concentrate on brushing your braces every day. To brush your braces is not hard. It's actually quite easy. You just take a toothbrush, and you're going to use just a little bit of water, and you're going to force your bristles above your braces along this way, and you can see how it forces the bristles right down into the braces and then you're going to turn it 180 degrees and you're going to go all the way along like this. Now you're going to see that that's good enough for after a snack but at least twice a day and preferably three times a day you want to get in there and do a really really good job where you take the bulk of the food off with your big brush but then you're going to go around with this little itty bitty little brush. This is called a proxy brush and it has a little bendable head so that you can bend it so that's most comfortable for you and you use this little brush to go right up under the wires in between the braces to make sure that there's nothing stuck in between or under the wires that your big bristles can't get to. Once you know that your braces are nice and clean and you've made sure that you went around with your little tiny little bristle brush, you're going to look into the mirror. Your braces should shine like jewelry. If you see that there's a little dull area, then that means you've maybe missed a spot and just get in there and give it a good little scrub until it shines. Then you're going to put your toothpaste on your toothbrush and you're going to brush above where your teeth are on the bottom all the way along and then above all the way along all the way along and then you're going to brush your tops of your teeth and then on the insides and where you chew. Now the reason you want to put your toothpaste on after you know your braces are nice and clean is you will see once you, brought, once you put your toothpaste on you're going to get suds everywhere and it's sometimes difficult to see that you have all this food and plaque off your braces so make sure when you first brush your braces you use just water and then when you go to brush your teeth you put your toothpaste on, you brush where your teeth are on the bottom below the braces, above the braces and then on the inside and where you chew. You will also get a rotary brush from our office. Now the rotary brush is neat because what it does is it allows you to actually put the toothpaste on and brush the teeth and the braces at the same time. You concentrate on one tooth at a time and you're just going to make circular motions like this all the way along, three or four passes to each tooth. Now I'm going to turn the rotary brush on. You're going to hear that it's a little loud. It's a little more difficult to hear the instruction, but that way you can actually see the bristles moving. So we're going to turn it on, and again, three or four passes along each tooth. You see how the bristles get right up underneath, and they get in there and they move around. And you might find that you still have to go around with your little tiny little Christmas tree toothbrush to get out little pieces that might be stuck in there, but you'll also find that this does a really, really nice job. You just concentrate on each tooth, three or four passes, all the way along. And then, of course, you don't want to forget about the insides and the tops where you chew. So you're going to go all the way along like that, and then, of course, go along the top. You just have to go across a few times, the inside, and then the insides and the tops as well. Just like that. Now, we also will supp supply you with a travel toothbrush. You'll find that you'll want to have toothbrushes everywhere. This little travel toothbrush is unique in that you can open it right up, you can close the end, and you can use this to actually brush. It's a good thing to put it in your book bag or in your purse for work. It's very, very important that you want to carry a toothbrush everywhere. So I always say have a toothbrush in the glove compartment of the car in case you go out for dinner, have to have a toothbrush in every bathroom, and always make sure that you have a toothbrush in your purse or in your book bag so that you can brush when you're at school or at work. So you're going to brush above your braces and below your braces like this and then of course on the teeth like that and then on the inside and where you chew. The next thing we're going to talk about is flossing your teeth. Normally when we floss our teeth we just roll it around with our fingers and we use various ways with our thumbs and our fingers to manipulate the floss to go in between the teeth to clean. But right now I'm going to show you when you floss with braces on, there's a wire that stops you from getting right down to the gum line to make sure everything's nice and clean. That's why you use these things. These things are called floss threaders.
Now, a floss threader is just a little nylon, looks almost like a large darning needle, that you use over and over and over again. You'll lightly tie a piece of floss onto this little floss threader because you're going to throw your floss away when you're done. But this you're going to rinse after every use and you're going to keep using it over and over again. Eventually, it will split in half and that's when you can throw it out, but this will last you several, several flossings. So you're just going to take your floss, you're going to go under your wire, then you're going to floss right down to the gum line and you're going to pull it through. Then you're going to go to the other side, under the wire, you're going to floss and you're going to pull it through. Now you can imagine how long this takes when you have braces on the top teeth and the bottom teeth. You're going to make sure that you've got a floss every single day. So some people break it up, they do the tops in the morning and the bottoms at night. Some people do it while they're watching TV and some people like to do it while they're actually laying in bed. It's very, very important that it's done once a day because your dentist can't take x-rays and see the small cavities that are starting in between your teeth. He or she's going to see them once they're big enough for them to see them in your mouth. And many times that means a little bit more than just a very, very simple filling. Now, when, as we're getting braces on, you will find that there are times where the wire might feel like it's poking you at the back, especially if, if your teeth are moving a lot. You might find that you have a little bit of a pokey wire at the back. Or these little hooks sometimes as a tooth is turning, the little hook might jab into your cheek. If anything like that happens, you're going to use something like this. It's called orthodontic wax. Now, what's nice about wax is that you just open this up and you're going to get small little rods of wax and you're just going to pinch off a very very small little piece size and roll it in your fingers to soften it up try and dry off the area that's bothering so let's say that this wire at the back is poking my cheek I would just take that and I would just use it like a band-aid and I would just form it around the brace just like that and I would give the office a call and, and let them know that there's a wire that's poking me if there's a wire that's poking you, we do consider that to be somewhat of an emergency. Sometimes you do have to wear your wax for a couple of days. If the doctors are away or it's a weekend, we do uh, do our very, very best to take care of all those little emergencies and wire pokes. If this little hook was bothering you, you just roll your wax around and you just cover the little hook, sometimes just for a day or two. It just will scratch and bother your cheek. So you use that as a little band-aid to just keep everything nice and soft and let your teeth heal up. Don't worry if all of a sudden it's gone or you've swallowed it. It's not a big deal um, and it's not going to hurt you.